Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about finding coterminal angles. Coterminal angles, I've got a definition there. It's angles that share an initial and a terminal side. Let me show you what I mean. I've drawn a little mini almost unit circle here. So the unit circle starts at zero degrees and then it moves to 90 degrees, then 180, then 270, and then um, back to zero, which is also 360. And you could keep going as well in either direction. If I were to draw an angle right here, like if we were talking about this angle right here at 45 degrees, this is your terminal angle. This is your initial side. When we look at finding a coterminal angle, what we're saying is if we were to take this spot and we were to move all the way around the circle and back to the same spot again, that would be moving 360 degrees. We would move one full circle length, which would be 360 degrees. So to find what that new angle is in this new spot, we would take the original angle of 45 and we would just add 360 to it. And that would give us 405. So a coterminal angle to 45 degrees would be 405 degrees. And then you could keep going. We could take that and we could circle again. So we're at 405 and now we're going to circle an additional 360 degrees. We would take that now starting place to 405 and we would add 360 again. And that would give us 765 degrees. And you could also move in reverse. So let's say we started at that 45 degree again, but this time we went this way on the unit circle, like we went in reverse. So then what we would do is we would take our 45 degree, our terminal angle, and we would subtract 365. And that would put us at negative 315 degrees. What this is saying is that 405, 765, and negative 315 degrees, these are all coterminal angles to 45 degrees. In this video today, we're going to practice finding coterminal angles that fall between 0 and 360 degrees. So, for example, in this first one, we're given 400 degrees, and we want to know what would be a coterminal angle but it has to fall between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Well, obviously 400 degrees is bigger than 360. In that case, what we need to do is take our degree of 400 and subtract 360. So in this case, our coterminal angle would be 40. It falls between 0 and 360 degrees and it is a coterminal with 400 degrees. So all we did was we subtracted 360 to get 40 degrees. Okay, so for this next one, negative 20 degrees, negative 20 is way less than zero degrees. We need to, in this case, instead of subtracting 360, we need to add 360 to find a coterminal that would be between 0 and 360. So we're starting at negative 20 and we're going to add to it 360 degrees. That would put us at 340 degrees and is that between 0 and 360? Yes, so we're good to go. So we in this case added 360 degrees to give us 340 degrees. 798 degrees. Well, obviously that's way more than 360, right? So this time, are we going to add 360 or are we going to subtract? Well, definitely we're going to subtract 360. So let's see what we get when we subtract 360. So we're starting at 798, subtracting 360, and we're getting 438 degrees. Is that where I need to be though? Does that fall between zero degrees 
and 360 like they requested. It does not. So this time we're going to have to subtract 360 again. So go around the circle another time. So let's subtract 360 degrees again and see where we end up. Okay, now we're at 78 degrees. So at this point, it, we had to subtract around the circle twice for us to get a coterminal angle that fell between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So in this case, it's going to be 78 degrees. For this last example, we've got a negative 1,007 degrees. So that is way lower than 0. It's way in the negative. So this time, are we going to add 360 or do we need to subtract 360? Well, to get back into the 0 to 360 range, we definitely need to add 360 degrees. So let's see where that would leave us. So if we're at negative 1007 and we added a full circle length, that would put us at negative 647 degrees. But we're still not in that 0 to 360 range, so let's add 360 again. Okay, we're a little better now, right? We added 360 again, and now we're at negative 287 degrees, so we're getting closer, but we're still not there. We need to add 360 again. Finally, we are in the positives. We're in that range of 0 to 360 with 73 degrees. So as you see from doing this, all we really are doing is deciding are we going to add 360 or subtract 360, and then we're just doing it as many times as we need to do it until we get a coterminal angle that falls between 0 and 360 degrees. So it's not too hard, it's just a matter of making that decision. Here's two for you guys to try. For each of these, you want to find a coterminal angle that falls between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. I'll post the answers in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.